Hello, my little kiddos. It's been a while since I've read you a story, and this one is called The Elephants and the Six Blind Monks. This tale takes place in India many moons ago. As you know, elephants don't roam freely in America. They exist in zoos. Anyway, let's go on with our story. Once upon a time, six blind monks were walking down a dusty road in India. It was hot and dusty. It covered their saffron robes. They were using their walking sticks to walk on the road. A merchant was walking with his elephant, and the elephant was carrying his precious goods to be sold in the next village. The blind monks never saw an elephant before. They could feel the earth vibrating with each step that it took. The monks were fascinated by this strange creature. They asked the merchant, can we touch your elephant? The merchant said yes. So each blind monk touched a different part of the body. One touched the tail. He said the elephant is like a thin rope. One touched the trunk. Wow, the elephant can wrap his trunk around me like a snake. One touched his legs and said the elephant is like a stone column. It's massive in size. One touched the skin and said the elephant's like leather. One touched the ears and proclaimed the elephant is like a huge leaf. The last felt its tusk, stating that the elephant is that which is hard, smooth, and like a spear. The blind monks thanked the merchant and both went their separate ways. The blind men then started to talk about the elephant. A huge fight got started. Mind you, these monks usually never fight. They're calm and serene. Yet a huge fight did occur. Each monk said the other monks were crazy. They all had a different point of view. All logic and reasoning went out the door. Each one held tightly to their point of view and no one would budge. A young farmer saw this episode going on and he asked the men why they were quarreling. Each one of them told their story. And the young farmer told the blind monks that each one of them was partially correct and partially wrong. It wasn't the complete picture. Isn't it ironic that the whole world today thinks that the other person is wrong and I am right? Something to think about. All right, guys.